Hey, this is Avilash here again from Selenium Express and today in this tutorial, I'm going to cover one of the very, very important and a surprising FAQ in Java and it is one of the very popular interview question as well. So my question is, how to create an object in Java? Now you must be wondering, well, are you crazy? This question is so simple, isn't it? Yeah guys, I know it's pretty simple, but let me complete my question first. So my question is, how to create an object in Java without using a new QR? So, can we create an object without using a new QR? Well, that's an interesting question. Or you may also hear some questions like this. What are the different ways to create objects in Java? Or you may also hear some questions like this. In which way of object creation the constructor does not get called? So don't be get surprised if you get this question in your interview. So your constructor will not be get called, but your object will be created. And what's the way to do that? So now if you know the answer for all these questions, then congratulations. But if you don't know the answer for these questions, then don't even worry about it because you are going to get all your answers within the next 20 minutes. So do you know there are actually five different ways by using what you can create an object in Java? So, as I said, there are five different ways to create an object in Java. And as we go further in this tutorial, I'm going to reveal each one of them. I know the first one is no more a surprise, which is by using a new keyword, but that's the first one is in the queue. So, what we're going to do in this tutorial? So, in this tutorial, we're going to do some basic project setup. And by the end of this tutorial, we're going to create an object by using new keyword. Uh, I know guys this is so basic and you already know about this but as I'm covering this topic and how many ways we can create an object in Java I should include this point okay anyhow 99% of time we have to create an object by using the new keyword so let's quickly dive into Eclipse and let's quickly wrap these things up because we want to jump to our second tutorial as soon as possible and we're gonna explore some new ways to create an object but before that, we have to complete some basic stops. So let's go ahead and do it. All right, guys. So before we start creating our first object by using the new QR, let's quickly set up our project. All right. So as you can see over here, I do have a package. Sorry, I do have a project over here, which is taste. And I do have a uh, package over here, which is taste as well right so I want to create a class over here inside my taste package so I'm going to new and create the class over here and I'm going to give the class name as student all right and I don't want any man method so I'll uncheck the box and I'll click on finish okay there we go uh, okay so right now what I want to do I want to create a constructor for this student class okay so I'll type out student over here and I'll do have a control space and there we go the student class constructor is pop out over here and I just want to change this name I, I just want to have a sysout over here so I'll say sysout and I'll write something inside it and let's say it student class constructor okay there we go so the reason why I have written this constructor over here to make sure that whenever I'm creating an object, my constructor is getting called or not. So as you go further in this tutorial and start creating object by using different different methods, we're gonna see that whether this constructor is getting called or not. So it's pretty important to have a constructor over here just to make sure whenever we're creating an object, our constructor is getting called or not, all right? Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do that I'm going to take a property of the student class so let's say I want to tag a student's college ID. Okay, so, so I'm going to say it over here public and a student ID will be int and I'll write college underscore ID and I'll set it to 101. All right, there we go. So my basic setup is done and what I'm going to do next is I'm going to create the object for this class student using different different method. Okay, so the first way that we're going to do it that by using a new keyword okay so let's quickly do that okay and I just want to wrap up this very quickly because it's a one of the very very common way to do that and 99% of time we create a object by using the new keyword so let's wrap this up very quickly okay so I'm going to create a new class over here so I'm going to click over here class and I want to give it a name uh, let's say I'll 
I'll give a name over here demo and I want to check this uh, main method over here so, uh, so that I my class will come with a main method over here and there you go so my basic uh, class is ready over here so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create an object from my student class using the new keyword okay so now let's set a basic game plan over here by writing some comment but before that let me maximize it and let's write some comment out over here okay so the first thing that I'm gonna do I'm gonna create an object by using the new keyword so I write uh, I want to create the student class object so I write student and s1 and I write uh, new student and this is the way that we create object by using new keyword that we everybody knows and now I'm going to print out this s1 in my console so that I can see the address of my student class so I'm gonna say sys out over here and I'm gonna print s1 and the last thing I'm gonna do I'm gonna call my student property so I'll say s1 dot college ID and I'm gonna assign it to 202 all right so now we're all set we have successfully created a object by using new keyword okay so now let's test this application by running it so I'm gonna say right click run edge and run a Java application and I'll click OK and there we go so the first thing that we're getting over here is student class constructor mm -hmm. because whenever I'm creating the student class object by using the new keyword is calling my default constructor which is there inside the student class so here we go we have a sysout over here we have a print statement over here which says student class constructor so that's what we're getting in the console isn't it but one thing that I noticed that inside the demo class I just forgot to print this ID so that it's not coming in the console so let me print that out let's say sys out over here and let's say uh, s1 dot college ID okay so now if I run this application I'll get my college ID in the console as well so here we go 202 so this is the way that how we create an object using the new keyword so it's really really simple most of you already done that so let's don't waste more time on this and let's jump to our way number two so this is it from this video and I promise you in the next video will be a way more exciting because we're gonna create an object there by using the new instance method of class class so I'll see you in the next video